So today we have this uh, C4S, that wide body in the shop today. And we're gonna be doing a spark plug service. Fairly straightforward. I'll try to show you guys some, uh, some tips and tricks on how to make the job a little easier and a little faster. Um, as always, if you need any kind of work done to your uh, Porsche, Audi, BMW, information will be down in the description. I love these uh, green, lime green calipers on these hybrids. Looks nice. All right, so in the rear of the car, what you're gonna do, you see uh, this heat shield? There's two E10 torques. I use a little E10 like this to get the, these two bolts out right here. And then uh, you can use a long one if you want to. Move that out of the way, and then you have access to your three coils on this side. So, um, by the way, it's gonna be cylinder one, two, three, and then I believe four, five, six. So, on this vehicle, we have a misfire on cylinder one, and cylinder one is gonna be rearward driver side, closest to the uh, bumper. So on this side, as you can see, you're going to want a little uh, a wrench that ratchets like this. So you can reach in there and look like this. Look. Do you see? It's an E10 that ratchets. See that little ratcheting mechanism? Because that's the only way you'll be able to get in there and loosen that bolt. Okay, so you see right there, it goes in just like that. So go ahead and I always start with the most difficult to reach coil first. And then these are, these two are very easy to get to. But there's two uh, E10 Torx bolts on these newer uh, coils. The older ones have just one. Um, I want to show you guys something real quick. So for this coil, that is going to be, um, so one, uh, one, two, three, four, so cylinder four, which is the one that's way down there. What I do is to get rid of, to get that connector off, you see that connector over there? So what I do is I, I go in there through here and then I pick, I use a pick to, let's see if it focuses. I use a pick to get that connector off. So I pry it up and then push up. And what you do is like, the coil is gonna be in there like, like this. So I go in through the bottom, I press up and then push up and that'll get the connector off. So to get the spark plug out, what you're gonna use is a tool like this, 5 8 on a swivel and it has to be magnetic. Um, and basically how it works is you connect, the plug will go in like this and all you do is you fish it in there through the bottom and then you rotate and there's literally just enough space to get the plug out of there um, and as you can see these are in good shape for the miles it's at like 40 some thousand miles I don't think it's ever been done um, so we're replacing it this is the old Bosch plug super Bosch super R5, made in Germany. Let me see if it can focus for you. No, no focusing. So there's a part number and then here's the new one. This is also a Bosch R5 as well. It's also made in Germany. 
as you can see. Um, part number FGR6K0E in Germany. And this one is FGR5KQE0. So they're different part numbers, but I believe they're the same. Um, they're the same spark plug. They look to be identical, just different colors. If anybody knows what the difference between blue and green is, if you could let me know. Uh, in the comments, also inspect your coils. Make sure there's no corrosion. Make sure the boots are not cracked in any way. This one looks to be in good shape. When you tighten these back up, guys, uh, you're going to tighten these to 30 newton meters uh, on the correct torque spec. So when you tighten this up, guys, you're going to tighten this uh, plugs to 30 newton meters and you will hear a click. There you go. So that's 30 and you stop there and you can remove the torque wrench. I want to show you guys on here, uh, there's a P0301 code, cylinder misfire one. I'll put a picture of you where that's located for you and P0300 random misfire. So uh, just as a precaution, I'm changing out the cylinder one coil with the plug. These are original Biru coils from Germany. Um, they already come with that green pre-installed dielectric sealant as you can see and cylinder one just for reference uh, is going to be over here now this side the driver's side is easier to do because there's more room to work with here there's a lot more room uh, also this is a uh, I believe it's a uh, oh, is it let me see yeah Eisman exhaust so this is aftermarket so as you can see with the brackets, there's a little bit more room here to work with. Um, if you have stock mufflers, you can still get in there, but it's gonna be a little bit of a tighter fit. Um, but this one, you have more room. You don't have to remove the mufflers or anything. You also don't have to remove the wheels. You can keep the wheels on. So yeah, pretty straightforward, pretty straightforward. And these, these uh, heat shields, I like to clean them before I put them back on. And I also like to put when the plugs were due so that if the guy sells it or whatever, they'll know that plugs are done. That's pretty clean actually. Not bad at all. And then here's your filter right here. So pretty easy to get to. So for the oil filter, we're gonna use OX12 uh, 81D. It's right here. It comes with a new gasket. Here's the old filter. You're going to have to remove that gasket right there. That little seal. There's your filter right there. And you're going to use one of these tools, H903, to remove it. And then simply replace the gasket, put the new filter in, and it will bolt right back up. We're gonna go with uh, 540, uh, 8100 Motul. It's gonna be 
the 8.25 liters total capacity. For the cabin air filter, there's just uh, two Torx, I believe they're T30s. Uh, bolts you remove for this bracket, it sits right here underneath this cover by the battery. Just lift this up, remove the bracket, sits right there. And there's gonna be a little clip, this little clip, you just bend back and then you can actually take your new filter and install the new filter uh, right in. I'll try to do this with one hand. The brake fluid is a DOT 5.1. It's located right underneath this little compartment. We're gonna test it. And we're very we're good at zero percent. So the air box literally just pops out. You're just going to pull up on it. There's a couple clips. Disconnect this vacuum line, disconnect this connector, disconnect this connector. After you remove the box, you just press here like that. And then um, it's a good time also to clean your uh, throttle body and check all your components since you have clear access to pretty much everything in the front and you can check for leaks and whatnot as well.